name is your girl. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> it is Friday and it is almost six o'clock. And I am gonna try to upload this video very quickly and then I'm getting out of here. But I will be back. No, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. No, Monday. I meant to say Monday, not tomorrow. I don't even think the school is gonna be open tomorrow. Ooh. I totally forgot. Oh, anyway, back, back, back to you. My school district, we we have a few more days off than the average school districts. So we have off all next week. I wanted to come up here and fix my sofa because it has a rip in it. The one I brought from my house, but it had a rip in it at home. Then I wanted to paint the table. So I just wanted to do some stuff. So it looks like I'll be coming up here on Monday. I can wait till Monday. I won't feel as pressured. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really have anything to do anyway, you know, besides cleaning up my house. But then I could catch up. Remember, I wasn't here for almost two weeks. So now I'll probably be up here catching up and working on slides, doing paperwork, doing administrative work. So that's what I'll do. So I won't rush up here tomorrow because that's what I was going to do. Maybe I'll just lay in bed tomorrow. <laughs> so there, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Calm down, calm down. So baby, baby. I had a meeting with Sydney's teacher. So honey, listen, 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 listen. You see my little skirt? It has a New York City, it has a New York City skyline on here. I'll show you the outfit in a second. And so I want to give me some pearls this weekend. But you know it's not payday weekend. So Sydney came home crying, honey. Um, talking about her teacher, you know, always has something to say. And, you know, the teacher seems kind of sarcastic and maybe she's very abrupt. And that type of personality, not everyone is as receptive of that type of personality. Just like I have my students, I build relationships with my kids. So when I'm like, boy, sit down, you know, A, I kind of sound like a mother. B, that's how I talk to everybody. And I love everybody. So I'm like Mama Basil as well. And they're like, okay, okay, Miss Basil. So, you know, it comes off as different. But if you haven't built those relationships with your students, you know, when you say certain things, it's going to come off as hurtful. And so I can see how the teacher could come off that way. Um, but Sydney needs to know that's just who she is. And then I told her it wasn't about her grades or anything like that. Yeah, Sydney wasn't doing well in the very beginning and um, for her first test. But now she's like at an 80 something in the class. But the very first test, she didn't do as well. So it was the first thing, first major grade in the, in the grade book. So anyway... I don't want to talk to you about Sydney's grades. That's not why, I, why I'm talking to you. You know, a child is going to get out what they put in. And vice versa, it is what it is. I'm not there to refute that. But it's, you know, how you speak to my daughter. That's where I have the problem. And I felt a little uncomfortable. But it was me, the teacher, and the school counselor. And I was like, and it's just a little concern. I hate to bring this up, but it is a thought that does go through my mind that Sydney is the only brown little girl in your class and she feels like she's being targeted. You know, that may not be the issue, but that's how she's feeling um, because she says that you don't, you're not like that with anyone else. Or maybe that's how she's interpreting it and you are, but Sydney doesn't see it. And she feels like you, you're targeting her. But then you'll say something in the class and the counselor mentioned this. She says, you know, like your Sydney said, you'll say something in the class. You'll be like, right, Sydney? And, um, you know, she's like, I guess. So she feels like you target her. She's like, no. And then the teacher said, no, Sydney always has something to say, blah, blah, blah. There are certain students that I target in my class too. But it's not because, um, you know, I have anything against them. It's to get them more engaged in the class because they want to disappear. <laughs> right, Billy? Come on, Billy. Well, if I see someone nodding off, you better believe I'm going to be calling on you. <laughs> and I told Sydney... 
um if there's any backlash due to the meeting you know let us know the council's like let her know immediately and i told the teachers sometimes we're not aware of the things that we're saying or how we come off to students or people in general but you know hopefully you know now that you know that she's a little more sensitive she needs a little extra time to comprehend things than the average student she may need extended time on a test because she doesn't read as fast as someone else and I'm a slow reader and I process things differently than the average person because sometimes my brain be all over the place and it, I, it just doesn't seek in. Sometimes I have to read it two and three times and poetry I may have to read it 99,000 times. So it was an okay meeting but I could tell the lady is very abrupt. I think that's just part of her personality <laughs> and it just doesn't digest well with Sydney. So, mm, so I'm glad that meeting was over and <laughs> I don't really like, I don't like conflict or confrontation, but you know, when your child is crying, your child is upset, I gotta say something and my kids like to advocate for themselves. So Bobby don't want me to advocate for her at all. So maybe once or twice I kind of went behind her back and said, please don't tell I called. So, but you know, when you're when your child is upset here in their spirit, I'm sorry as a mom, I have to jump in there at some point. <laughs> Dawn, I said, Dawn, I have a meeting in nine minutes. Come give me a pep talk. And she stayed with me the whole meeting and she, she was passing me sticky notes. Dawn, she's like a little encyclopedia. So I was like, um, they're gonna have their people, I'm gonna have my people too. You bring your people, I bring mine. What? What, sis, what? So honey, let me show you this outfit because I'm gonna try my best to get out of here. Baby, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this table needs to be painted. This, this table right here needs to be painted. So, this is what we working with, yes. Oh yeah, my room is a mess. It's a mess. It needs, it needs, it needs Jesus. <laughs> well, that's how I see it. <laughs> and I love this skirt. It's like the skyline. So I thought I'd put it on with. Put it on with this shirt. Dawn said that I had like a preppy J. Crew look. And then I just threw these little these little slip-ons. It's pretty warm in Texas. You don't even have to wear a coat. So this hair, child. It came in handy. I'm supposed to, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to break my hair over the break. <sighs> well, I can rock my hair like this for a little while. And I could braid my hair in March. Because it's February. Y'all could probably wear this for a little while, y'all. Because those braids, they're going to make my nerves bad. I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. But it's just so liberating too, just to wake up, shake, and go. <laughs> so is this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, let me get out of here. I will be catching up on, um, on vlogs and editing. I still am trying to work on the video that I did with Bobby, Sydney, and I when we took our road trip. I'm so sorry. I just got sick, y'all laid me out so i'm gonna get those things done um send some words of encouragement to sydney because it's just it's just hard it's hard being a teenager then i was trying to figure out some drama with some girls here and they was like we just don't want any drama we don't want any drama so i was trying to be peacemaker <laughs> and you know i was like oh i got work to do yes can you just apologize <laughs> 
So I feel as though I wasn't as engaged with my students as I wanted to be. I did pull and do some um, conferencing with a few of the students with their writing. They was like, oh, I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so they're so adorable and sweet. I just adore um, like 98 person. I adore all of them. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm trying to think what else do I need to do nothing because I'm gonna be up here on Monday working oh I gotta turn my black history yeah I got work to do in here all right guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and if there's a video you want to see me do when I have some videos I anyway I got so much going on up in here and I haven't been taking that medicine. Sean, my desk look like a tornado. <laughs> and Dawn was like, this is not zen. I was like, I know I haven't been taking that medicine. But the, <laughs> I'm going to get it together though. I probably, probably won't take the medicine until I come back to work. I don't like to take it on weekends. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing anyway. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get out of here because I know a. I'm gonna start acting silly, silly, and then it's gonna be like seven o'clock. <laughs>